Luxurious lost all of the underworld. Drug lords and arms dealers, bikers and Japanese gangsters. <laughs> These are the people that make the rest of the world tick. <laughs> and they sure know how to live the high life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hang on. Does anyone here actually know how to play this game? I raised the stakes! Ten million dollars! Fifteen million dollars. <laughs> Fifteen thousand million dollars. Gentlemen, can you always put the measuring tapes away? We know we're all rich. Hey Big Paul, I never asked! What happened to your money? Did you get it back? Oh, that old thing. Yeah? No, I was busy. What happened? Big Paul got robbed a few years back by some slutty kid. How'd you, how'd you get him again? Oh, it's easy to track down. I've got plenty of resources. And then what did you do? Oh, well, well, I killed him slowly and took my money back and chucked him down a well. Well, it sure beats this lame game we're playing here. Is anyone ever going to put in some real money? Well, I guess I just want to see the cards first. Oh, you're playing too safe, Francis. How do you think I became to be so rich? Oh, by the way, nice house. How'd you get it so cheap? Well, I got off this massacre that happened about 20 years ago. Some of these moon spies killing all those people. So I got it super cheap because no one wants to live in a place with a bunch of murders. Lucky for me, I murder more people here, so it's fine. Oh yeah, fair enough. <sighs> this game just doesn't have the draw for me. Well, what would you suggest? Something fun? Something with actual stakes? Well, we could bring the fighters back in. Fighters? How about something better than that? Three fighters? No. Four fighters? Stop. You all have hitmen, right? Hitmen? Like, to take people out and stuff? I guess. Don't we all? My little brother's my hitman. He's a fucking psychopath. But, he does all the dirty work for me. Oh, please. I don't use a normal hitman. I wouldn't mind from Japan. My guy would beat both of those people hands down. It's one of the deadliest killers on the planet. Yeah, right. Boys, boys, I've got an idea. What? Well, what if we all put a wager on whose assassin would win, and then we put bounties on them all, and then whoever's left last wins? Hang on, so let me get this right. You want to put seven of the most dangerous people in the entire world against one another for a bet? Remember, guys, someone could hurt. Yeah, yeah. let's do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, sounds good to me. Yes, it sounds good. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, fine. When he gets... 50 million dollars? Yep. Yeah. Sounds like a perfectly reasonable amount. Excellent. Shall we send the word out to our lovely assassins? In the world of assassins and hitmen, finding out who your next target is becomes routine. Everyone has a different way they communicate with their employer. She's a fucking mailman. And everyone has different methods of tracking and hunting down their target. We have a special cash prize giveaway of $10 million for any moon spies. If you're around, please hand yourself in to the local police department to collect. The cereal tastes so weird.
you done well, mate. <laughs> you really fucking done well. Eh? A nice house too. Shame it's gonna be fucking empty. Hey? Eh? <coughs> you heard me. This. Two seconds, two seconds, mate. Six targets. <laughs> They really do think I'm invincible. Let's kill me. Alright, alright, I'm fucking reading something, yeah? Hey Ron, it's your employer. Hope the Falcone Gobs channel going well. Well, yeah. I'll get you to say it's going well. Please. Attached six year, six year contracts that I need taken care of. Please. I just want to tell you. Take care of it. And we'll transfer you the 20 million dollars. <laughs> Please. Right. Looks like you're going on fucking sleepy bye bye, mate. That's me, Ron Wickinson. You're probably wondering how I got to be one of the deadliest assassins. I won't fill you in now. All you need to know is it's a lonely life. Fuck yeah. But it pays well. Fly. The Vulture. He has a reputation as the single most deadly assassin in the world. He has more confirmed kills than anyone else, making him the most dangerous contender in this contest. Excuse me, guys. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. What do you want, Paul? Hey, it's Paul. Big Paul. Big. Always had the inflated ego, didn't you? I did, and that is why, little brother, I'm going to tell you where your targets are. You're my twin brother. You're only ten seconds older than me. And some people would like having an older brother. Some people just call that lazy writing. This is a contest. We did this entire contract to see who the best assassin is. And I know that you're the best assassin, Juggy. Then why do I need you to tell me where to find other people if I'm the best? Because everyone on that list is an assassin or a hitman. Most of them aren't going to know that you're going after them. Maybe a few might figure it out, but right now, you've got the advantage. Ah, oh, send me through the details. Make my job a lot easier. Wonderful. You get paid for your kills, and I get paid for you doing your job. You're a fucking shitty twin, you know that, right? This is about me always getting the top bunk when we were kids, isn't it? No, Paul. This is about turning your little brother into a fucking psychopath. It kind of sounds like a top bunk thing. The man with no name, an old rival of many people in the assassin world. He's famously known for taking out his targets using disguises. The deadliest part about him is the fact that no one ever sees him coming. Must have been the wind. Oh shit. Cheap piece of crap. What are you gonna do now?
Oh my god. This is Officer Brady. We have a dead body and a suspect on the run. We need to lock down the area. Lock it down. You ready, rookie? Today's the first day you catch a real perp. What are you talking about? I've been working with you for seven years. Stop calling me rookie. Come on, rookie. Let's go hunting. Samurai Sam. One of the deadliest samurais in all of the world. Yeah, got a one hour white kid from Australia, got that reputation. Kyoto, Japan. A young and determined boy called Samuel Shamington decides to learn the ancient art of the samurai. First, learn the way of the samurai. Like any apprentice, he had a master. Sunset. Sunrise, you will climb. You're kidding me, I have to climb this thing. Yes. And his master was a tough motherfucker. Who would make him train every day from sunrise to sunset. Hiroshima in here. After the samurai is unlocked, when you can break through what holds you back. What's that, man? Right now, this rock is holding you back. What? It's just a rock. It's holding you back. Well, all right. <laughs> you idiot! That was from a Kill Bill! Kill Bill 2! <laughs> ah. Master, where are you? I'm ready for my training today. Ah, after an unfortunate accident, the master died. I knew this was going to happen. I warned you about going one handed rock climbing at 104 years old. Samuel Samington was alone, the sole heir to the master's fortune. Sam soon realised all that training and hard work meant nothing in the real world. When nothing left, he took to a life of crime. Here we are, Rinke Girl guys, and I am super excited. I'll tell you why I'm really excited. I've been here a couple of times before. This will be the first time I think I'm the old tell you one of the most famous tracks. Fuck do you want? Fucking forgot. 
That's right. Manners make it man. You were the first one to die.